Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I decided I would do a quick get ready with me on IGTV because I haven't used this feature in a long time. Um, and the look that I'm gonna focus on today is a quick no makeup makeup look. We're gonna focus on the base just to make sure our skin looks healthy and glowy. And um, it's perfect to use at this time when you wanna do minimal makeup because we're all wearing masks anyways. So first of all, I want to start off with uh, my little routine that I do beforehand. I've been using this Dermavive um, cleanser on my face. It has oatmeal in it and Avena Sativa Seed Powder. It is so just lightweight and it feels like there's nothing in it. So it's very refreshing for the face. Doesn't feel like there's a whole bunch of fragrances or anything like that. I've been loving this and it's eczema friendly, which I have, um, especially in the colder months. So I've been loving this beforehand. And then I'm going to go in with the Nutriderm Moisturizing Lotion with Vitamin E um, to moisturize my face. So that is a key and good base because you want the skin to look like it's glowing. You want to nourish the skin or else the skin is just going to look like you put a whole bunch of um, stuff on it and then it'll look cakey. But i love been loving this cream because like the other cleanser it is a bit it feels like it's very gentle almost reminds me of like like something that babies would use um it smells really soothing doesn't smell overpowering or anything and it's a nice formulation where it feels like my skin is moisturized but doesn't feel sticky or goopy or anything like that so first step moisturize the skin i like to get my eyelids because that area tends to be dry and then now we're going to focus on the rest of the makeup. So I'm going to go primer less today because I think this, this Nutriderm cream is feels nice enough that I feel like my makeup is going to stay. And I'm going to opt for a uh, CC cream, like a BB cream or a skin tint. This one is from Makeup Forever and it's in the shade 09. It has SPF in it, which is really good. I know a lot of you have been following along with me and have been seeing that I've been using a lot of AHA recently. And that basically sloughs off the top, top, top level of your layer of your skin. So you want to make sure that you are putting on sunscreen. So any product with sunscreen, I am a huge fan of. So I'm just going to put that on generously, go in with my beauty blender and blend that out. I don't want heavy coverage because all of it is going to end up on my mask anyways. Um, so I'm just going to blend this out. And this nicely just covers up the unevenness of your skin and also you're treating your skin with SPF. This product has been really good for me, hasn't made me break out. Same with the other two products that I've used. Um, I do have pretty tough skin. I used to think I had sensitive skin, but just use it with caution whenever you're trying a new product, just test it first. But I've had great results with everything that I've used. I wouldn't be sharing it with you <laughs> if I didn't try it out first. So. Just gonna go in, pat that in all over. This is the key to a good base makeup. You have to pat it in. If it's just on the surface, then it's just gonna look really cakey. So there we go. My next step is concealer. Um, I try out high-end drugstore right now. I'm loving the LA Girl Pro Conceal, and this is in the shade Bisque. So as you can see, it's fairly light. I like to go for that light eye, um, that light under eye look because it makes me feel like my under, like, it looks like my under eyes are refreshed. I don't have too many dark circles, but I do have, um, like it's kind of sunken in now. So I think this does a good job of taking care of that. Plus I like the illuminated look. It just makes it look like I've had a good night of rest and I did last night. So <laughs> that's always a good thing, but I st I'm still doing the whole triangle technique. And then I like to take the excess, pull it down the middle of my nose. Uh, from wearing a mask now, I have a little mark here, so I wanna make sure that I cover that up. And then I'm not squeezing out any extra product. Just putting it in the areas that naturally I want to stand out a bit. My little trick is to wait like a little bit of time before you blend out your um, concealer because that way it becomes thicker and it gives you better coverage. So I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. 
ultra precise brow pencil i am loving this it is so cheap and i think it's a good dupe for the anastasia brow wiz so i'm just gonna go ahead and brush up my brows fill them in while the concealer settles in once again lightly i don't want perfect brows but i want them to look like they're tamed i haven't been going to the eyebrow place because of covid i've been doing it myself so i don't always have the freshest brows but just filling them in slightly really makes all the difference so there we go use the back to brush it up Okay, and by the time that's done, it's time to blend out our concealer. So I'm gonna go in Wet Beauty Blender. This one I think is from Morphe. I really like it. Um, obviously the Real Beauty Blender is my favorite, but this is a good second and it's a lot cheaper. So I'm just gonna go in and blend that in and I like to pull it up so that it doesn't look like it's just concentrated in one little area. All right, now the nose. And now the under eyes. I also like to bring it to the side of my nose and that kind of naturally contours the nose without having to use any more product. I am gonna go in with a powder, contour powder later, but using the concealer to bring it up the side of the nose also helps. And then I like to bring it up. You wanna go up, cause then your face looks like it's snatched. Okay. Now, once you put on a cream product, you want to set it with the powder, I'm using my Wet n Wild Contour Palette. OG followers know I love this. Um, it basically comes with a yellow powder and a contour powder. And this one is Caramel Toffee, which I think works really well on my skin tone. I'm just going to use a powder puff, go into that yellow powder, and set that concealer. I've actually stopped powdering my whole face because in the winter time my skin is actually more dry now um age definitely changes your skin i used to be super oily before but now in the winter time i end up being very dry up to the point where i get dry patches on my skin so i i'm gonna skip the powdering the whole face part and i think it actually gives you a nice and luminous look so I am really loving that at this time. But if you want it to stay longer, obviously powder your face. I'm gonna skip that step today. So as you can see, I already look a lot more awake. My skin feels good. I feel the moisture, um, like I don't feel overly dry or anything. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go in and contour. So I'm using that same contour palette. And I'm going in with this brush, which I got on Morphe. I am loving it. I don't really know what it's called, but this is what it looks like. Love the gold. Gonna go into this darker powder, tap it off. All right, then I'm gonna cont contour my face. So suck it in. That's my bone structure. I don't wanna go underneath. Um, if anything, I'm gonna go above and end where the line is when I suck it in. So. And I go in little round circles. Bring it up to the perimeters of the face as well. And this adds a nice glow, not really glow because it's not a shimmery powder, but like it makes it look like you've been in the sun. Same thing on the other side.
Usually I love a, a very structured contour, but for no makeup makeup looks, you don't want to make it look like you got a line on your face. So blend it out. Okay, same contour powder. Hit the jawline. And this chisels your face nicely, especially if you have like a double chin or extra um, fat or meat down here. And it already looks like it's a lot more angular. And lastly, the nose. Light hand, I hold the brush at the end. And just down the sides, I don't like a very structured nose contour, not even when I do my glam looks because it's my nose. I want it to look like my nose. I don't want it to look like someone else's nose. But it's nice to have it snatched just a bit. So holding the brush at the end really helps get that light hand and you have more control to get those straight lines. And then if you want, you can go ahead and do the bottom too. There you go. Okay, base is coming along nice. Now I want to add a little bit of highlight and a little bit of blush. Um, the winter time, the winter time, I especially like using blush because uh, I don't know, it kind of gives you that rosy cheeked look. So I'm gonna go in with um, this is the Regal Wardrobe Palette by Bare Minerals. And it has a whole bunch of blushes in the back. I'm going to go for um, the Love Letter, which is like a plummy kind of color. And then... So I basically concentrate on the apples, but also drag it up. And then, a trick I learned from TikTok, take this and put it a little bit on the nose to give it like a little rosy bin out in the cold kind of vibe. Not too much, I don't wanna look like Rudolph. Okay, blush is done. Now I'm gonna go in with bronzer. I'm using the Bronze Booster by Physicians Formula. And this makes it look like you've gotten sun all year round. And I kind of like to hit the areas that I put the contour in, my forehead, my nose, and my chin. So skin's looking nice. Lastly, for the skin, I wanna use a little bit of um, highlight. This one's the Huda Beauty, the new one, um, Nymph, all over highlighting powder. I am obsessed. So first of all, it looks gorgeous. Now I'm going to go in with a fan brush, just a little bit, not too much, want it to look natural. And then if you like, you could go ahead and hit the nose a little bit too. I don't want to go too overboard because that'll make it look a little too glam, but I am happy with this. Okay. Skin's looking good. Now I want to focus a little bit on the eyes, not too much. Um, I am going to go in to my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and go for the warm taupe color and mix it in with the Real Girl. So it's a hint of orange and a taupey color. Brush it off. This is really pigmented. pigmented. There's some fallback too. And then, okay, so here is where, where your crease is. So you see my eye kind of creases right there. That's the area that I'm gonna deposit the color in and do windshield, windshield wiper motions. So this kind of, you have a natural shadow here. So putting a little bit of shadow there just enhances it. Doesn't make it look like you have tons of eyeshadow on, but defines the eye nicely. All right, there you go. You see the difference? This is a little more defined, but it doesn't look like I overdid it. And now to add a little bit of dimension on the bottom, same two colors on the lower lash line. 
You can skip this if you feel like your eyes will be too closed up, but I like it on the bottom. It makes me look a little more awake. All right, same thing on the other eye. And underneath. And that's all. I don't want to add any more. I'm just going to go in and add a little bit of under eye highlight, um, different brush, and then I'm going to go for tempera in the same palette. It's like a bone color, but this has a little bit of shimmer. Just because my brows are not very kempt, so this will just clean it up a little bit more. And excess, I want to run down the middle of my nose just to add a little more structure. Okay. Time for lashes. I'm going to curl them and load up on the mascara. I have noticed that waterproof mascara works so much better than normal mascara. And I used to hate waterproof because it's so hard to come off. That hasn't changed. It's still very hard to take off, but the curl that you get and the lasting effects are amazing. I will show you guys been trying out this new mascara from Essence, really cheap company at the drugstore, Lash Princess Fall Slash Effect Mascara Waterproof in Black. Guys, check out this mascara. Look at that. And it stays like this. It doesn't droop down. So yes, I feel like it probably isn't the best for your lashes because taking it off, you have to go a little harder than usual. Um, but I think an oil product might help with this. But just throughout the day, if you want fresh looking lashes, waterproof is the way to go. Look, look. Look at that. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the under lashes. Once again, optional. I read somewhere once that you're not supposed to do under lash mascara um, just for the aesthetics or whatever, but I've always done it. Makes my eyes look more defined. But I don't wanna make it look clumpy, so I'm not gonna do too much. And then, I'm just obsessed love lashes uh also i've gotten some magnetic lashes that you could just add on on top of this but i'm not doing that today okay those are the eyes last step lips i'm gonna go on with the og favorite the elf praline it's a lip pencil like a lipstick but i always use this as a liner and i overline And I've been loving glosses recently, so I'm going to go in with my Fenty gloss, if I can find it. Oh, here we go. My Fenty gloss. I'm so excited. It's the fussy one. And just glop that on. So there you go. I'm going to let my hair down because it looks kind of crazy. There you go. That's my favorite makeup look for now. The no makeup makeup look. Perfect for running errands. Perfect for, you know, a quick little event or whatever. I definitely look like I'm put together. Skin looks good. 
lips look juicy. Um, because we're wearing masks and lip gloss and masks don't go hand in hand, I got this cool new uh, makeup guard that's like a little cage that you put on here uh, and you put it on underneath your mask and it keeps your lip gloss from touching the mask, which is great. Link to my Amazon store so you can check that out. But yes, this is my no makeup makeup look. I hope you guys liked it. Um, let me know if you want to see more get ready with me makeup tutorials like this. Um, loving the whole IG stories thing. So just let me know and we can do more makeup looks, more glam ones um, next time. Take care.